Hi and good evening. It's great to be back on YouTube for another um, YouTube live, I was going to say Facebook live. And um, for another YouTube live, I'm currently doing Christmas countdown. So we give, I'm giving you some Christmas projects to do. Whoops. Sorry. This is where the technical bit goes wrong, right at the start. Um, sorry, what are you saying? <laughs> I'm giving you some projects to be able to make, hopefully with available things that you have and if you don't have it you can buy it from my shop at stampinstarcreations.co.uk hi there great to have you along misty i'm just entertaining myself for a few minutes while people come on hi there deborah do say hello when you're jumping on it's great to catch you now can i just say disclaimer if you're catching this on the replay and you're wondering who on earth i'm talking to press the live chat and i think it shows up or if you actually open the video it shows you who i'm talking to so i'm not talking to myself or talking to space there are I promise you there's messages coming i can see karen and mary and tina and cindy and sheila sheila's been busy making some um labels address labels that sounds fab sorry i've got the washing in the back again it's become, becoming a bit of a feature on my <laughs> on my videos i do try not have it there but you know they have any big screen behind me to <laughs> take it away hi there steph so you might have seen in the title that i'm well it just said a topper it didn't say what it was because <laughs> i had limited space for my title hi joanne and hi there Kay. it's a pen topper and for this you're gonna need a whole basket of bunch a pun a basket of punches easy for you to say Missy says, I posted my first cross-related video on YouTube earlier. A coffee-themed junk journal flip-through. Ah, I'd be interested to see that. That sounds awesome. Sorry, I'm molting. Okay, let's get some more lights on in here and let's get started. Somebody's already given me a thumbs up, thank you. And you haven't even seen what we're about to do. So um, I'm going to show you what we're making. Um, my big fingers get in the way, don't they? So this is the prototype. So I've I've done a few improvements, but um, I gave you a very sneaky peek on YouTube. If you follow me, not YouTube, uh, on uh, what's it called? Instagram. I gave you a sneak peek on Instagram. Now, just uh, again, if you want to share this out, you can do. I think there's the facility to do that. So this is what I made. I was so chuffed. I was like, wow. It, I hope it looks like a snowflake because that was that was the idea. <laughs> So um, I'm going to talk you through this. I'm going to try and start with the easy bit and then work through the bit. And then if we have time, we're going to be making a different version, hopefully. Hi there. Great to see you, Laurie. Um, so punches are there. I'm trying to be super organised and have everything ready. We'll see how this goes. But you know how it is when you're super organised. Sometimes it doesn't work like that. Oh, what I should do, sorry, it's just... Um, call up my comments on another device and then hopefully I can keep up with you. So bear with me, Holder. Dee 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 dee. La da dee 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 dee. This is supposed to be hold music. <laughs> See, I can't keep up with comments. Right, great. Let me just bear with, please. Nearly there. Okay, great, great, great. You can see. Um, right, so Ruth joined. Great. So let's start. Easy peely bit, and and look what I've done. Also, oh, just wrote down the measurements on little post-it notes for you. Okay, we're already encroaching, so let's give us a bit of space. Needs the space. Right, let's start with the, the easy one. Two inches by seven and a half inches will create your bookmark, um, or like the the bit that the the top is going to sit on. I'm going to put that there in case anyone comes in and they can see what I'm doing. So because uh, this is just under two inches and this slots in nicely to our tag topper punch. So we have two of these. There's this one and then there's a new one with a different scalloped edge. So if you like your tag toppers, it might be worth investing. And this is some of that lovely shimmery, shiny uh, matching ribbon, Seaside Spray, and it's got like a silver threads going through it's gorgeous so i'm not going to measure it i'm just going to go hmm i think that will do i mean if you really want measurements i can give them you as they say let's have a look that was about eight inches so we're just going to fold that in half and slip it through where we've done our tag i'm 
like so okay so that was the two inches by seven and a half inches so this second piece here the white piece that we're going to stamp on is one and three quarters by six and three quarters oh i ripped it <laughs> never mind so this is just going to sit in place like so here okay so before that sits in place we're going to stamp it with um, a stamp from so many stars and I'm just going to use the innard to that because I think it looks like a snowflake so I decided to use that one I say the innard there is like a, a um, what's the word um, an outline to go with it if you wanted to so I'm just going to stamp this on full strength to create a pattern background on the background card let's cover up that boo-boo like so a bit of quick stamping how is everybody today i should ask you actually how you are I'm just assuming everyone's really well <laughs> how are we today welcome april and vicky great to see you right so move that aside so i'm gonna zoom in because sometimes these videos are well, not too bad am I okay so the other bit that we need to punch out so we've got that bit and that bit and we are going to use the tailored tag punch which is like this Misty says you're good hope you're having a good day too I sound cheerful <laughs> yeah not too bad a bit tired I've had a few late nights is that the right yeah that's the right one few late nights but um, I'm not too bad I'm, I'm happy because I've had some crafting time today I think that's what's made me particularly cheery today and then um, this bit here is for this middle and we're going to sit our pen through there so I've used the um, half inch punch and I f I'm feeding it through till it won't go through anymore and then I'm just roughly you know trying to find the middle of that I'm going to punch. Sheila's got a cold so Oh no. Oh, Deborah says that she believes that ribbon's just come back in stock. It's a very pretty ribbon. So we're cutting two um, of those little holes. Hi there, Gaylin. Great to see you. And like I said, this was um, sit the pen through it uh, later. And we're just going to bring back our stamp because we want to give that a bit of decoration. <coughs> Excuse me. I think one little snowflake in the middle will do. Star comes snowflake, of course. A bit of artistic license. Okay, right. I think I'm going to put that to side and not stick anything yet. I'm going to keep moving along. Moving swiftly on, as they say. Right, what do I want to show you next? I've got <laughs> I could do with an extra table next to me, I think. Right, I've got I keep my scraps of oh, glimmer silver glimmer paper together. I'm gonna to use this bigger bit here. And we're now going to be using the one and a half inch punch. And we're going to be cutting two of these. One, two, and it pops. So I've got that done. What else do I need? Oh, I knew I'd forgotten something. I had a piece of card on the table and it's disappeared. And I thought, oh, here it is. I found it again. <laughs> it's okay. All is well again. I found what I was looking for. Right, so that's the silver bits. And then in this one here, yeah, look, I pre cut. So you're going to need two little, two more half inch circles because we're going to use those. And then how many of these did I use? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this leaf punch has been my friend. I just keep going back to it and back to it. It's, it's great, this leaf punch. So we want eight. One. Let's 
two, three, four. I wonder if I can fit a little bit tight on this side. Five. Oh, can she do it? Six. Oh, it's a little bit tight on that one. I'm not going to risk it because I want the full stem in it, so that's okay. We've got enough card here. So, eight, you want eight leaves. And then to make them a little bit more textured, if you grab your tweezers. And then I think with this one, I actually just bent, bent them upwards like this. Now, what I would say when you come to, to bend these is you do want them all to go be the same, um, ideally. I mean, it doesn't matter too much, but as in, can you see that that's turned the other way around to that one? So if you're going to go that way, you want them all to be in the same direction, really, if you're a bit OCD like that one. <laughs> Don't risk it for a biscuit, absolutely. I don't know. I might risk it for a biscuit. I do like a biscuit. Yeah, somebody said before, we always seem to get onto the subject of food, which is kind of true. But I'm going to try and work a little bit faster. Um, if you're watching this on replay, you might want to just skip a minute, okay? <laughs> oh, dear. I'm just saying, you know. So with this one, I'm not sort of necessarily twist. Well, I am twisting it, I suppose, but I'm kind of just creating a crease, and this just really helps to give it a texture. Out, that was my finger. Um, I mean, you could do it flat, but I just, you know, as soon as you kind of bend it, it just completely changes the the look. I feel. Right. So how did this come about? Um, I was working on using these leaves for something else and I can't even remember what. And I think um, I've just seen the word chocolate cake could be distracted. <laughs> and I, I was punching these out in a red colour and I don't know, it just occurred. I think I was putting them together and it suddenly occurred to me, oh, what would this look like if I um, cut them out in blue? And it just kind of went from there. And then I was kind of working out how best to stick this together and how to do it. Now, I got a feeling, okay, so when I put this together, I did one there. I think I did two layers because trying to fit all these leaves onto one layer it gets a bit tricky and it's difficult for the little tiny circle to hold on to. So if you put one opposite each other and then another set opposite each other like that, okay, and then put that to one side. <laughs> Those are quite the tweezers. <laughs> they, came, they came in a set. So I've got these ones and the crossed head ones which are really handy. Oh, can you see that? I have got other tweezers as well. It's just whatever. Right, go, what's the chocolate cake? Um, just had chocolate cake with chocolate frosting. Oh, I've been on a bit of a munching spree today. I don't know what's going to me. Some days you just want to munch and munch. <laughs> there we go. So you want to do... Trouble is, I can't remember how I did my original. Uh, Steph says, I've got so much craft stuff to play with after today. I've got £175 worth of mixed craft stuff for £22. Arrived in a huge box. I have card dice, stencils, glitter, glue stamps and so much more. But I couldn't pass it up. <laughs> yes, Steph, you're certainly going to be busy. Maybe just not do, you know, just... Don't go too wild with it and just play with, limit yourself a little bit at a time because it can be a little bit overwhelming. 
So now I'm going to stick these together, but obviously twist it round like so, so that one, I'm just having a look at my prototype. I don't know if that should go on the bottom actually. And that, that one, I suppose it doesn't matter when you spin it around, does it? There you go. Oh, hold on a minute. I think I've glued the wrong bit, didn't I? So just be careful because your glue, was if you were using this glue, it would still be wet at this point. So just, no, it doesn't matter because you just turn it around, don't you? Okay, and then we're going to get another half inch circle and just cover up all that glue. Come on now. Everything's slipping in the sliding. Like so. I'm going to try and pick this up. It's got stuck to my paper. Okay, so I'm just going to give that a chance to dry. Um, let's have a look what else. Okay, so maybe I'll talk to you about this bit while this dries. I managed to get hold of some of these really quite fun pens from one of our local supermarkets. Um, they came in this assorted of golds and rose gold, silver and this kind of charcoal colour. But I think with this I like the silver to go with it. So these are just like a ballpoint pen, but they, you know, I mean they're lovely like that, but you can jazz them up even more with the uh, snowflake. So if you just get your, what size circle is this? The one and a half inch circle, and I'm bending that around each side. <clears throat> uh, said offset, do not get that glue in your hands. <laughs> So you want to do that with both of those circles, just bend it round the shape of the pen to to get it the shape that you want to. It's a bit better to lay it, the pen flat and squeeze it right round like that. Steph says, then I got a Sizzix Thin List thrown at me for free yesterday. You, you seem to be doing well, you're obviously attracting lots of craft things. Now, with this one, I did actually use um, glue on either side. And yes, it does slip off because when the pen runs out, it means that hopefully this can go on another pen. And in fact, I did test it out and it will fit on a pencil as well. So if you can't find some nice pens, you might, or if you want to gift it to a child, it will fit on a, a pencil. I found it um, with the glue, it wasn't holding it as far. So today I might try tear and tape to have a more secure fitting. We'll see if it works, shall we? You can be my guinea pigs. I'll experiment on you. So I'm just going to put some tear and tape on. Now I'm going to use my pen as a guide, so I'm going to stick this, just tuck in any odd ends you might have. I'm going to put my pen in between first and then put the other circle, match the circles up, stretch them out a bit and then squeeze together like so. Okay, a big squeeze. Sorry, can you see I'm quite close up, so if we can come out just a tad. There we go. Okay. So let's have a look what else we need to do. Okay, I think we're ready for the next bit. So then to make it more sparkly and snowflake-like, I thought, ooh, why don't we put some heat embossing on it? So I didn't um, put the magic dusting bag over it. I just got the Versamark ink and stroked it on the, pardon me, on the ends of the leaves, like so. And then, oh dear, boing. 
and just stop donning things and then I sprinkled the silver embossing powder Let's see if we can lift this bad boy out of here There we go, so it just catches the ends of those leaves. Right, let's put this embossing powder somewhere fairly safely, she says. Oh, that's not safe. That's not safe. I hope that's safe. <laughs> okay. Right, time to block your ears. I've just got to put the heat to one. I'm just going to take try and get a bit of that out of the way because I'm... Gonna stick a gem on there in a bit. Um, turning out really cute. Thank you. I have to catch the rest of replay. Ah, oh, okay, Misty. Hope she gets on all right at the vet. Went through all my stamps for Christmas images and sentiment cards. And sentiments cards are about to be made. That sounds good, Deborah. Cards are about to be made. Right. Excuse the blast. Here goes. Yes, the leaf punch is amazingly versatile. And like I said, like, it's a bit like, I mean, I use it a lot anyway, but I've been using it a lot more recently. And I'm glad I've got the sprig punch in my stash now as well. Oh, good, Laurie. I'm glad you thought it was a snowflake at first. That makes me feel even happier. This, I think that silver embossed just does something to it. Don't know about you, but it just adds that sparkly kind of Christmas feel to it, doesn't it? Right, let's bring on some gems. Now, like I said, if you want to stick around, I want to try out another version. Sorry, something's falling down. I'm just trying to see if there's anything important. So just using the biggest die. And then I was like, well, where do I place the snow... F the um, the gems but I thought actually if you just place them on because it's quite symmetrical we could move up a little bit let's try that move up a little bit make it a little bit different from the original one let's make sure they're well placed on and good press down I mean you could go a bit wild with the gems but there's no need is there just a few gems there we go I hope I wasn't off picture then sorry Oh, that is so frosty, says Deborah. Fantastic. Good, I'm glad you think so. Um, I think we're nearly there, folks. Um, I can't remember if I used... I think I used glue dots to stick it to the... to the glitter paper. Let's have a look. Maybe a few glue dots because we really want it to make sure it stays put. So just popping those on the back, like so. And make sure we've got it the right way up because we want it to sit nicely. Okay, let's bring on our pen. Oh yeah, look at that. Who wouldn't want to write with a pen like that? Hello there, Bobby. Right, so assembly time. We're going to draw you out even more shall we there we go seamless almost <laughs> so I'd like to try um, a green version in the hope that it looks a little bit like mistletoe and I'm going to use white embossing powder to see how that looks Now, before you actually stick this down, obviously thread your pen through it. I've taken the lid off. I'm just going to bend that a little bit in the middle. And then put a bit of glue here and a bit of glue there. Laurie says, love it. I may have to case this for my craft show coming up. Whoa, what an honour. And then we're going to place that down. 
but we could probably just like squash the pen down and see where that lies. That works. It's like giving you crafty tips as I go along. I'm learning myself. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I've got a frog in the old throat. I'm just going to have a sip of tea. Okay, so obviously, oh, getting glue everywhere again. So here we go. I mean, this for like little girls would love this, like a frozen theme, wouldn't they? Look, so you thread that through, pop the lid back on, and there you've got a lovely stocking filler or a Christmas gift. And then there we go. What do you guys think? <laughs> Deborah says, by the way, love the nails. Thank you. They are getting a little bit chippy. Um, these nails were to match my skirt that I wore the other day to the Lion King. So, um, fab. Right, if people want to stick around, I'm going to try a different version. So there's our snowflake pen. So let's try doing a mistletoe pen. Um, let's see if we can knock this one out with some green. So this is Old Olive. I'm going to do a roof and just use some scissors that I've got to hand. <laughs> How many was that? One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Um, love this idea. Thank you, Vanessa. Did I love the Lion King, Deborah? I will definitely have that now. <laughs> Vanessa, thank you so much for sharing. Okay, so we need to. Do, I think it was about three, wasn't it? One, two, three. The Lion King was absolutely incredible. Um, People said, oh, you'll love it, you will you know, it's it's great, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, I'm sure I will, but, you know. Um, and I'm not one for crying at films or, you know, don't really... I mean, sometimes I do. I'm not that heartless. But <laughs> am I doing this right? No, look, I've done a boo-boo already. <clears throat> Let's just bend it the other way. Um, and... It was supposed to be an early birth. My birthday's in August and I'm turning a certain age next year. And it was, I wanted to go for my birthday as a birthday treat to myself. Um, and the opportunity came up because it was being shown locally. But I thought, well, if I don't go now, um, <clears throat> excuse me, it's, it's a bit tricky to get to London. To <laughs> Bobby thinks I'm going to be 50. No, Bobby, I'm going to be 60. <laughs> if you believe that, you believe anything. Um, so, yeah, I went with my friend and um, we chilled out the nearest kind of cafe for like an hour and a half before the show started. And um, can I just say, I went in and the merchandise, I was like, oh, I'd really like to get, you know, before I went, I was like, I'd love to get a memento. Um, of the show, you know, I, maybe the cheapest thing is like going to be a key ring. I walked in and I could not believe the prices. Um, sorry, what was seven pounds? Did I miss something? Oh, <laughs> Ruth's like trying to multitask. It's not working, love. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, yeah, I walked in and I could not believe the prices of the merchandise. I was like, a key ring. Or a fridge magnet. Okay, I'm going to leave you to guess how much you think it costs to get a fridge magnet or a key ring. Because I couldn't quite... But I was like, oh, you know, maybe £5. Maybe that kind of, you know, I'd accept that. Expensive, but, you know, I would I would forfeit that kind of money for the sake of having a, mem um, a memento, whatever you call it. <laughs> Ruth is lost. Somebody needs to find her. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I hope that didn't disrupt things. I just got the... No, go away. I'm trying to get a phone call in. Oh, no, go. Is that disrupting the broadcast? Somebody's trying to phone me. 
Ruth, are you still here? Is my mum trying to phone? <laughs> I don't know why. So Sue was going to say a fiver for keyring, so it was a bit more than a fiver. Oh, good. I'm, it wasn't interrupting. That's good. I think I've got it on not disturb on my phone, but it was coming up on my other device. No, not as much as twenty. It was it was ten pounds, but for a measly key ring, ten pounds. I was like, I can't justify that. So I was like, maybe I should go large for the biggest thing there, like which is like a hoodie. <laughs> Forty five pounds for a hoodie. I was like, no, I just can't justify it. So then they had like a special offer on the program and the booklet and the bag, which I was like, I really don't need another bag. Like, I don't. I don't want. A, a, I don't really want another bag, and it's all very nice having the booklet. But you know, you, you kind of look at it once, and it was just you know, you know, realistically, it's going to end up on a shelf, and you're not going to keep looking at it every day, you know. So um, I was like, no, I don't want that, and yeah. So I was on eBay, literally on eBay, going, is there anything on eBay I could get instead? <laughs> I know Deborah. I was like, I'm not paying that. I'm such a um um skin flint or whatever they call it a cheapskate when it comes to things like that I was like oh I mean if there was something suitable at a price that I thought yeah that that's worth paying for then I would have gone for it actually do you know what I might do in the middle I think it um I was thinking maybe some like little red berries to make it oh no mind you if it was mistletoe it'd have white berries Mm. Let me just grab a scrap of white. Let's see if I can do this. I wonder if three would cover it. There we go, this works. Um, <laughs> Deborah's. <clears throat> like, nope, not praying that exactly. Cindy's like, I don't name you. Sheila's like, you're good. Sue's like, Scrooge. <laughs> Bobby's like, buys keychain blank and makes your own. Absolutely, that's me. That is totally me. I'm like, I could print it off myself and just make one myself. <laughs> I was like, I'm not paying that. You know, if it was, you know, um, price that I was prepared to I was like how many stamp sets could I buy for the price of that fleece <laughs> I was I said that to my friend thank you Deborah it does look a should we put a little bit of snow on it I won't maybe I won't overdo this one I'll just lightly swipe and see what happens Oh, I can't shake it into my tray because I've got other things in that, haven't I? But I am just on YouTube. <laughs> in case he walks in. Starts chatting to me, you know. There we go, a bit of that. <laughs> Vanessa says, that's what I do. I compare, compare the price, compare stamps, etc. to the price. Cindy says, I'm enjoying Broadway musicals. Oh, great. <laughs> I know you kind of compare it to okay I might have gone a little bit stingy on the first mark let's try a little bit more on this side well like I said if it was something and then my friend said to me look if you didn't get something would you regret it and I said because after the show, you know, I was just like, oh, that was amazing. You know, I want to get something now. <clears throat> Do excuse me. But then I was like, no, you know, I, I don't think I would really. Because I have the memories, you know. Um, so the actual show, like I said, I'm not really a cry person. But oh my goodness, I was literally like welling up um, at the first scene. It was just incredible it was just like really overwhelming I guess and the whole thing I hope you can hear me through my heat gun was just so well that the production of the whole thing was just brilliant and I think it's once in a lifetime thing that everybody should go and see it was it was just fantastic
TV never beats in person, but the price is right. Absolutely. I mean, the, I mean, the tickets weren't cheap, but then I was like, actually, it, that was just worth every penny because I just, oh, yeah, it was brilliant. So what colour pen should we have to go with this one? Are we thinking the rose gold, the charcoal, or the, the goldy colour? Thinking maybe the gold, but I'll leave that one to you to decide. Cindy says, my demonstrator has a yard sale every year and I can get what I passed up for a decent price. Oh, that's handy. Deborah says she wants the gold. Yeah, I'm just using this one to bend it around. I'm thinking gold. Mary says gold. Bobby says gold. Cool. Yeah, I'm thinking gold. Gold. Yeah, it's quite pretty on the red. Okay, so let's get back on. I think the um, tear and tape worked quite well for that, so let's do that again. Um, so the 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 music. So there was some live percussionists in um, the not the stalls, like in boxes, like on the next level. Um, so you had the live music, then you, we were fairly near the, um, uh, aisles where the actors come down with the animals and stuff. The puppetry was amazing. The voices were amazing. The staging was amazing. So that all combined in one just, you know, was special. I, I did drama at school, um, in like higher education. So I, I kind of appreciate some of the stuff that goes into you know the making of it and yeah it's just brilliant so let's catch up on comments um deborah says oh that's gonna be lovely i hope so <laughs> bobby says these are fun and vanessa says these will make pretty tree ornaments that's a good idea the stampede is great oh amazing there were so many bits in it that was just brilliant um I nearly cried again at Mufasa's death, obviously. <laughs> it was just, you know, I don't know, it's just really amazing. I like the pens. Where did you get them? These are from um, Tesco. Are you in the UK, Karen? <laughs> good job you weren't at the theatre. Who threw Fallon in London? No, good job. They had their answers up before I ever heard the question. I must be delayed a bit. Ah, oh, Sheila. So I, I can't remember. I think they were £2 for a pack of 10 and you get these assorted colours. Um, so, yeah, you know, and they're all black ink. So, a good price, really, I think. The posh pens. <laughs> Something a bit different. This was in a big store. I got them in um, July, August time, actually, with the view for Christmas, actually. Not really realising I would make this with it, particularly. But, yeah. So, any other suggestions of colours that we can do? Um, I was talking to a crafty friend and she suggested like Merry Merlot, which is like a burgundy colour with gold. So that would be fun. But I suppose would it um, would it have to look like something like this looks like um, mistletoe, hopefully. And the other one looks like a snowflake. They're, aren't they different? Oh, I knew what I was going to do. I was just going to add... I was going to add some pearls, but I've kind stuck those white um, thingamajigs. Deborah says she had a wonderful time seeing the Phantom of the Opera. Wow. I did put tarot tape on both sides. I buy up things ahead and then can't wait when I need them for my project. Yeah, absolutely. Karen says purple. What would you? What colours would you have with the purple, Karen? White and red poncettia. Great idea, I love that. So I was going to put um, some pearls in the centre, um, like maybe just one actually, like the the berries that you get on the um, I don't know. She says putting more pearls on. Do a little bunch of. Got to get your money's worth. It is Christmas, so I'm going to just kind of bling it up a little bit. Hmm. 
Mm, not sure about that. Da da dee 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 dee. Let's just move these over. Don't know what I'm doing. I'm just having a look to see what it looks like with the little pearly pearlies. So like I said, these can slip off the pens so they could be reused. I haven't closed in the end. Um, you could even push it up a little bit if it gets in the way. And um, they will fit on pencils as well. Okay. Oh, you can't see. <laughs> there you go. Right. If you want to stick around, I could try um, a Ponsettia version, shall we? Actually, in fact, that was what I was making initially. I think that's what it was that I was making because I have actually... Oh, no, I've used another different punch from Ponsettia. Um, I happen to have some... <laughs> red here so should we should we knock another one up quick 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 so let's think center of a poncetta is yellow isn't it so let's have a look middle it is yellow isn't it purple posy and highland heather yeah that looked pretty okay if you want to stick around i'm going to make another quick ponsettia one two three four five <coughs> Excuse me. Eight. So one, two, three, four, and then we're going to do. Oh, look, I might just happen to have some circles already cut out, and they have green leaves, don't they? So. To have some, use this for our circle. There we go. So I'm getting quicker at this now. Now that you know what to do, you'll be doing it in your sleep, you lot. So would we put, oh, a bit of gold, what do you think, a bit of gold emboss? Oh, guys, I've still got loads of projects. I've, the more you create, sometimes it just leads on, one thing leads to another. <laughs> and I've got some other... Well, I think they're great projects. I can't really gloat, should I? I've got other projects I'd like to show you. Uh, Kay says, I made Ponsetta using the leaf stamp from Rooted in Nature. Yes, I've seen that um, done. That, that's lovely and perfect kind of shape for a Ponsetta. Do you know what? I had so many ideas that I've even written some ideas that I could do next year if I do this again. <laughs> Uh, Ruth says, I might try a regular hole punch for the centre. For the centre of the flower. You might find it a little bit too small. Or do you mean for the where the pen goes through? Or... Actually, do you know what? I just thought, because this is card, you might be able to actually, I'm on the last one now, it's typical. Um, you might be able to stack these up and maybe do a couple of a couple at a time, especially if you're trying to mass produce these. Um, you might be able to stack maybe two together and, and crease them. 
<coughs> we could do bronze. Um, I think gold embossed would look nicer, wouldn't it? Let's use that one. Um, you could use the sprig punch and use it behind the four leaves. That's a good idea. Yep, you can keep adding. <laughs> Deborah said, I've left the restaurant. I'm watching in the car. <laughs> Where are you going to watch me next then, Deborah? <laughs> oh dear, it's funny. Have a lot of glue on that one. Actually, I've just remembered what I did. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I thought I remembered what I did, but I didn't. I, can't I thought about the way that I stuck this together. I'm sure I didn't use three, um, three circles, but there you go. It's done. What's done is done. So has anyone here seen The Lion King? <laughs> that sounds good, Deb Deborah. Go and find your recli recliner. Have you tried fitting on six rather than four? Uh, no, um, I have tried not not six. No, <laughs> I was going to say what I did try is to cram all of them onto that tiny circle, and that wasn't working. So before you go and do that, don't. Um, I'm not sure where the red card is that I was using. Should I try? You want me to try? Especially on a poncetta, you want lots of leaves, don't you? Um, six, so... Oh, no, I did try six, because that is six, isn't it? Um, it was just, it got a bit overcrowded. Oh no, that's eight. Um, is it six or eight? I'm getting confused. That is eight. I think I did try six, but it got a little bit overcrowded. And obviously it's a little bit more fiddly. Because um, you want something to, the stems there to hold on to things, so... For the sake of experimenting, we will try. So it just goes a little bit fiddly to um, squash them all on. So hence doing four at a time is a bit easier and then layering them. And also your glue Rise. <laughs> there you go there's six so it is a bit of a squash and squeeze it's doable but it is a lot it is more fiddly to do and then we can layer that one around it can't we if it doesn't stick to my paper so yeah because they're a bit when they're wet particularly they get a bit fragile um so it does make it a bit tricky, tricksy. I'm going to go in, stick that on. You could even really draw those in, couldn't you? Sorry, I just saw your <laughs> Deborah says maybe six on the back, four on the front. So, yeah, it, it just kind of gets a little bit cluttered. Um, but you know, it's worth trying, worth giving these things a go. Now, I will really want to test out what this looks like with gold embossed. Let's get that silver one away.
Okay, so again, we're just going to... And it's a little bit more tricky to brush the, the ends as well, because there's so many of them. Love the resin gold. Oh, cool. Three, then three. You could. I, I just think you're going to get a lot of bulk on it as well, I suppose. It might just be worth experimenting with. I think, you know, the fragility, oh, that's a big word, of, um, of having the um, stem with the wet glue is a little bit tricky. I don't want that so gold, but there we go. Let's see if we can rub a bit of that off. All right, let's see what this is going to look like. So that looks better fuller being a ponsette here, I would say. And you could probably even afford to um, have a layer of, I'm just thinking it could maybe do with the layer, almost without the, oops, hang on. Like a little bit closer like that without the, the stems. Should we try that? Let's do this because we're we're near we're nearing, aren't we? So I'm reckoning a few more of these. But um I'm gonna snip these stems off and see if we can glue them on the back. To fill the gaps in. Sheila says, do you know they sell a Versamark pen? Yeah, I think I did know that because um, on one of my videos, I did a make your own Versamark pen. <laughs> A cheats first a mark pen using our blender pens. So I'm going to put another circle on that. It won't matter what colour it is because you won't see it. There, much happier with that. I mean, you could even. I mean, let's do it. Let's. <laughs> oh dear, you lot. Are bad influence on me. I'm going to get the sprig punch out now and cut out some. Somebody said sprigs earlier, so we're going sprigs. I love it when a punch fits into a shape that you don't think it's going to fit into. <laughs> like if you can squeeze out just one more bit of something or other like that. Don't panic, I'm just trying to get the card out of my punch. Okay, I've got to do things in threes. Oh, it's looking a lot like Christmas. Love this Ponsettia, nice and full. <laughs> okay, I should have stuck those in there, shouldn't I? There we go, look, that's wet enough to come off again. That's good. Definitely a hair decoration, that would look fab. On top of a gift box or a gift bag. 
I might leave it then and not, not put it on a, a pen. Oh, that's better, says Karen. <laughs> there, we've invented something new, everybody. Thank you for your suggestions. That was really helpful. So we've now got ourselves a beautiful poinsettia. You can stick it on. See, you kind of glue, lose the glitter paper underneath. Let me see if I've got something to hand, like, I don't know. Um, let me bring back my box I made the other day, like that on a gift packaging. Wouldn't that look pretty? Uh, got something else. grab out the bag I made earlier so that's how it looks on a box or you can pop it on the bag or you can oh, I'm going to have an avalanche pop it on a card a brooch a pen top <laughs> The list is endless now. <laughs> what can we do with our um, leaf punches? <laughs> oh, funny. On a belly band. Yes. Ah, stay there. I can show you. Here's a, a note box. Like that. If you've got the actual kind of topper or the embellishment, it can be used for anything. Decorations for a table, around a candle, you know, it gets you, your thoughts get going, don't they? So, though I've made a pen topper, it, it could be more than a pen topper. And the same with these, you know, like I say, you, can, you could slip them off, pop them on a bag. Oh, the possibilities. <laughs> Vanessa says, now I have to buy the leaf bunch. Napkin ring, that's a good idea, Cindy. Yeah, it's amazing what you can do when you kind of get playing. So we've managed to make snowflakes and mistletoe and poinsettia. Sorry, the lighting is absolutely atrocious. <laughs> there. Wasn't that fun? Whoa, I'm nearly up to an hour. Sorry about that. But, you know, these things take time to create, so hopefully you appreciate that things do take time. I did try and speed up towards the end. I'm going to try and clock off before we hit the hour mark. <laughs> Bobby says, bravo, more, keep going. Well, I've got more up my sleeve for another week. I think I'm back on schedule next week, back to Monday, nine o'clock and Tuesday. And I think what I'm going to show you next is a sampler, a box, a, a box frame sampler. Um, you might have seen some of my Facebook page already, but I'm going to do it in a different version. And I really want to show you because I'm quite excited about it. I've got something that I did with the stars to show you. And I've got some other things to show you. So do come back next Monday at nine o'clock. If you want to know when I'm on, click that bell button. Give us a subscribe where you're at it. You can head over to my Facebook page where I've got an event list of when I'm actually um, planned to come on to YouTube to do my lives for my Christmas countdowns so you can catch it on there and you'll know when I'm on so let's just catch up on all those lovely thank you you have to have breakfast oh enjoy your breakfast thank you everybody so much several together on a small wreath Deborah's on a roll now she's got ideas <laughs> fabulous all right everybody great to see you take care have a good evening good morning good afternoon our schmauer <laughs> says Bob. but it was fun <laughs> 59 seconds and 40 59 minutes and 44 seconds i'm gonna go take care god bless thank you so much for joining me i appreciate you leave a comment if you've watched the video and ciao for now bye You won't let me end. Come on. Bye.